All right, what is up everybody? Welcome to the stream. Tonight, we are continuing with SD Gundam G Generation Crossray, and we're gonna start off uh, with finishing the season one finale of Iron-Blooded Orphans, which I'm thinking, I'm almost positive this is the season one finale of it based off this guy right here. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And then I don't know what we're gonna do next. I'm thinking, so apparently Iron Blooded Orphans and Double O are the longest campaigns in this game. Uh, I really do like Double O. Um, so I was considering doing Double O next, but we could try something else. Not not more Iron Blooded Orphan. Like we'll try something that like beam weapons might actually work in. So we could actually fuck around and go to like Gundam Seed. Being that I don't know a lot about Gundam Seed, that could be cool. Astray does sound, the music in Astray sounds badass, so like that's a consideration. I have no idea what this is. And then Seed Destiny is the sequel to Seed, so we could try that too. I think Stargazer may only have like one or two missions in it, so it might not be that bad. I think we can see that somewhere too. Oh yeah. Okay, so... Double O has 13, IBO has 12, so we're about halfway through. Um, this other, I, I think it's IBO Gecko or something like that it's called. It has six. The, the, uh, the Double O movie has three. This other story has five. Stargazer has two. Sea Destiny has nine. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Exus Trail only has three. Astray has five. Seed also has nine. So there's 18 total main story seed chapters. Endless Waltz only has two, and we get some badass units from that. So, like, I could probably fuck around and just do these two missions. I don't know what dual story G unit is, and then Wing has eight. So, I bet, like, if we do four, it's like season finale of season one of Wing, which I'd be cool with doing. Same with, um... Double O. Double O would be probably to get, like, to, like, to mission seven for the season finale. But, either way. We're gonna start with this. Um, we'll do it on a normal. I think we might be getting to the point where uh, our units might be a little too strong for what we're doing. That's fine. We'll make it work. It may make some levels a little too easy, but we'll, we'll up the difficulty as needed. クナの末に要約実現した火星独立のための第一歩。しかし。はって、なんだったかな。お前さんたちが来た理由は。それはアブラウトの火星ハーフメタル資源の規制解放の件。そうだった、そうだった。それはもうわしにとっても実現したいと常々考えておったことだ。では、だが、今は無理だな。無理。それはどういう？わしは失脚し、亡命中の身だから。That's unfortunate for us. After that long and arduous trip. You know what? Hold on a second. I'm not sure. This has to be the season finale, right? I'm not sure now, guys. It might not be. Oh. Either way, we're going to do this stage and then we'll move on from there. マカナイはアーブラウリオエドモントンで行われるアーブラウ代表指名選挙までの合戦を。Basically, he'll get out of exile if he wins the election. <laughs> 
So now we're going to escort him to the election, which in the end will serve the goal of Kudelia, so it all makes sense. I feel like there should have been a mission in between here somewhere. But I guess not. まかないの話に乗るぜ。どっちを選んだってリスクがあるってんなら上がりはでかい方がいい。そう思わねえか。うん。リスクと。帰ろう。あ目的はもう達成したんだ。あとはみんなで稼げ。We actually え。Orga's looking at the bigger picture <clears throat> than the rest of the group. <やめてくれ。笑> Biscuit also has a point though. そうじゃない。また危険な道を that is a fair point. <laughs>。僕は。僕は。yeah, I mean, we've already made enemies of Jarhorn and, you know, kind of stirred the pot a little too much to, to back out now. Getting somebody that would actually help us in power would be a very good idea. Oh, wait a second. I might be wrong. Okay, this is good. This might not be the season finale episode or match battle. But this is an important one. Oh, nope, nope, they're just gonna show it. Fuck, okay. Okay, they skipped what happens. Oh, this is actually really sad. まだ。こんなところで。俺は死ねない。全部終わったら。火星に帰って。またみんな。一緒に。だから死ねない。死にたく。ない。俺にはまだ。オルガトの約束が。ビスケット。So yeah, they, they clash with Karta again, the girl we fought last time, and Biscuit gets gets killed essentially, as you just saw. <clears throat> they don't I don't know if they'll show it or not, but uh Mika kinda goes off and kills her. Rightfully so, because she fucking sucks anyways. I don't 
know if we're gonna do that actual fight. I thought we would do like a little scenario for this occurrence right here, because Biscuit's death in the show is like a really big deal. Because it's like the first comrade that dies, it's like in the, the inner circle. This is not what you told me. The election was the end without Mag and I took it to Suki leaving the island. I become the Prime Minister of Abrao, and we leave. We seized all the power. That was the plan, was it not? What she did was absolutely unnecessary. I, er, to think we became her guardian and supported her to maintain with the issue family's bishop in the seven stars. Oh, okay. So he's talking about Carter right now. So she like went rogue essentially to attack Tekadin, um, and Cudelia and um, Mac and I because they're all together right now, moving to this place. And um, like like Biscuit ends up getting killed, but she also dies in that fight. Um, Mika kills all of them pretty much. Uh, I think Akihiro helps too, if I recall correctly. But it's a really, it's like a big deal. It's like, like I said, it's the first big death in the series. But that's what they're talking about right now. Carta, you useless tomboy. Carta was also in love with McGillis and like really good friends with him and Galio. Not to worry, we know where he's ultimately heading, so we can still catch him. The election results won't change. I hope so. Her name's Henry. <laughs> now I must return to headquarters. In the meantime, start thinking about your speech for your inauguration as prime minister. Got it. <clears throat> Shit, are we in the water? No, I don't think so. The, I know where the fight. I thought the. Is, we're still in cutscenes. Okay. Orga's injuries must be serious. He hasn't given any orders lately. I think he just mind fucked a little bit. Yeah. It must have been hard to see Biscuit die right in front of him. Of course it was hard. Damn, Jollerhorn. I'll kill them all next time. Kill them. We have to wait for Orga to recover. Aren't you even angry? What's the matter, Takaki? Are you scared? Who said I'm scared? Then what? Stop it, you two. We have to wait until Orga... You're always like this. Calm down, boys. Hey, go argue somewhere else. I'm sorry. How was Orga? I brought him some food, but he didn't respond to anything I said. Figures. What should I do at a time like this? I've always been in the background roles, so I don't know. He just needs to be alone for a while. Nothing we say will cheer him up right now. I see. But it looks like he's being seriously hard on himself this time. It's times like these where we need to put him, put some spirit into the others. Need, need him to put some spirit into the others. Um, Mikazuki? Is Orga still in his room? Yes. Okay. Um. It would be best if we leave him alone right now. How was Ayn's condition? Yeah, that motherfucker's not dead yet. It hasn't changed. He depends on the life support system. Don't you already have the answer? McGillis, I just can't commit to it. This is kind of fucked up what they do to him. <laughs> I know that Ayn can't be saved if we leave him like this. I want to let him get revenge for his senior officers. But to implant a machine in him, he won't be human. Give up being human, huh? It can be said that this world was built on that very choice. What do you mean? 300 years ago, people were becoming impoverished from the never-ending calamity war and fought to the brink of extinction. For the human race to survive, someone had to put an end to the wars. Someone with great strength broke that balance of power, a strength that was beyond human. People who shared the same aspirations gathered, and an organization that went beyond countries and economic blocks were, was formed. I think it's Jollerhorn. Might. They eventually created a system that maximized the maneuverability of mobile suits, man's greatest achievement in weaponry. 
They made the Alia Vinjana system. I think I'm saying that right. And they went on to create 72 mobile suits that would utilize its full potential. Yo, RP, what up, dude? With 13 months. You tested negative. Congrats, dude. I guess your vacation's over. I tested negative. The saviors who gave up human and saved who gave up being human and saved humanity, they later formed an organization and called it Jollerhorn. So the Alia, Vin Alia Vinjana system saved humanity is attested as a relic of the war. How ironic. I messed this dialogue up, but it's fine. Indeed. Don't remind me. In the 300 years since Jollerhorn has become corrupt and weak, a hotbed for power struggle. Did you hear about Carta issues fleet failing to stop Tekadin? What? Kudelia and Tekadin have escaped with Makanai Toganasuki, Arbral's former leader. They disappeared somewhere over the Pacific Ocean. What? Can't we find them using satellite surveillance? Isn't this our home turf? There's probably an informant among us. It just shows, shows how corrupt things have gotten. So you, are you going back to work now, RP? Despicable. They should learn from Ayn's loyalty. I, Ayn's a fucking pussy. He's a fucking idiot. Maybe a man like Ayn is the, whole, is the one who's closest to the long lost essence of Jollhorn. You may be right. Galio, I've got something I want you to see. Uh, you have to go back Monday. Well, I guess at least you got a couple days off, right? And you're not going to be sick, which is also good. <laughs> what is this place? Work on the Alia Vinjana system continued until recently. This is the research facility. Yeah, Jollerhorn got an, a mobile suit that's compatible. What is this? Yalia, you understand, don't you? This is for Ayn and for us. It's like a graze on steroids, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. We have to show them that Jollerhorn was born in their self-sacrifice to save Earth. You and Ayn, equipped with the Alia Vinjana system, will exterminate those space rats and show the world we're the ones to lead this organization properly. So Galio does not have the, the system yet. Show them our origins, huh? I think he just meant that Ayn will have it and Galio will be with him. <clears throat> it seems the mood on this ship is becoming more and more depressing. A comrade's death must be really hard on such young children. I fear Tekadin might lose their will to fight because of this. If they decide they want to quit here, there's nothing I can do to change their minds. If that happens, I will escort you myself. Is that so? All I can do now is focus everything on moving forward. I cannot afford to stop. You're a lot tougher than you look. What is it you wanted to discuss? Yes. This ship is heading to Edmonton, the home of the Parliament Hall. But between here and there, Jollerhorn has surely set several traps for us. So I was thinking about changing our destination. Change our destination? To where? To Anchorage, Alaska. Anchorage? What will we gain by, do by going there? We disembark at Anchorage and board a train owned by Taiwaz's local subsidiary. A train. Okay, so hold on. We might. Carta might still be alive then. Hold on. I could be wrong. Yes, once a week, Taiwaz's regular freight train goes from Anchorage through Fairbanks and runs all the way to Edmonton. Since it's a regular scheduled train, it won't raise Jollerhorn's suspicions. So I think that. Okay, I'm wrong in my, my course of events, I think. I think that after Biscuit dies, they might not kill her there. But if we're going to go fight in the snow, I'm pretty sure this is where we fight her again. But she also wasn't on the rundown of, of enemies. Well, this is quite impressive. I can't believe this is our first, your first time on Earth. I studied a lot about many things so that I could bring to fruition the wishes that's entrusted in me. I see. I have no objections. I'll leave it all up to you then. Thank you very much. Well, RP, by the way, you might as well get all that Yu-Gi-Oh in while you can get it then. Gotta grind those stories out. There might be a scenario here, though, where we use like, Mika and Akihira to fight them, and then the actual battle with our units is the season finale. Yeah, you'll, you can never play it again if you don't finish it within the weekend, RP. <clears throat> I'll start reading after this part.
Has Ayn regained consciousness? I think he's in there now. Yes, sir. We're waiting for you, Specialist Major. So where is he? Specialist Major Galio. Yeah, Ayn's essentially a fucking robot at this point. Ayn, is that you? Yes, sir. Ayn, so, so it was a success. I'm so glad. This is great. Really great. The Alia Benjana integration is smooth. Thank you so much. Now I can avenge First Lieutenant Crank. This dude, he needs to get laid. I think that's what it is. Like, my god. Well, he can't now because he's a robot. But, like, previously, like, you're fucking, you're, you're off, your superior officer died. It's okay. Like, my god. It's why he's such, he's such a shitty character because of that. Like, it's like he's so hellbent on it. Now just find him an opportunity so he can take his revenge. Galio, I wonder how your heart has been able to stay so pure with Jalahar and so corrupt. Are you mocking me? I'm serious, it's not just you, but I as well. Remember, McGillis is Montag, the guy with the white hair and the mask also, he's playing both sides. <clears throat> yes, if this plan succeeds, his contribution to Jalahar will be immeasurable. Regardless of how he looks, this battle could make him a hero. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, I don't know about that. He's reminiscent. You guys are the ones who will bring change to Jollerhorn. But they won't bring change in the way that you think they will. I hope we're getting close to Alaska. だとしたらあいつは俺に殺されたってことだよな。オルガ。次は俺どうすればいい。勘弁してくれよ、ミカ。俺は。ダメだよ、オルガ。俺はまだ止まれない。待ってろよ。教えてくれ。<笑> オルガ。待てって言ってるだろうが。ここが俺たちの場所なの。そこに着くまで俺は止まらない。止まれない。決めたんだ。あの日に。決まったんだ。ね。何人殺せばいい。あと何人殺せばそこへつける。教えてくれ、オルガ。オルガいつか。連れて行ってくれるんだろ。俺は次どうすればいいんだ。ミカ。ああ、分かったよ。連れてってやるよ。どうせ後戻りはできねえんだ。連れてきゃいいんだろ。途中にどんな地獄が待っていようと。お前よ。お前らを。俺が連れてってやるよ。ああ、そうだよ。連れてってくれ。次は誰を殺せばいい。何を
俺たちの仕事はまだ終わってねえからなビスケットは誰よりも責任感が強かったあいつが安心できるようにこの仕事はきっちり最後まで終わらせるこの地球には俺たちを潰したがってる奴らがいるビスケットはその犠牲になっちまったけど奴らは分かってねえ鉄火団はただのガキの集まりじゃねえってことをな今までは攻撃を受けるたびに降りかかる火の粉だと思って払ってきたこっから先はそうじゃねえ今から俺たちの前に立ち塞がるやつは誰であろうとぶっ潰すそうだろうミカああ邪魔するやつは全部敵だこいつはビスケットのいやビスケットだけじゃねえ今まで死んでいった仲間たち全員の弔い合戦だ Let's go <clears throat> A battle for vengeance. Oh wait, no, slow down. Yeah. Uh-huh. Why didn't they voice that part? Wait, our aim is to escort Mr. Mac and I, not to seek revenge. It's the same. It really is the same. What? If we don't crush Jollerhorn, they'll crush us. It's kill or be killed. Mikazuki. But forget it. Why? What you're saying is right, but they won't listen now. Well, I figured this is how things would turn out. Oh, I didn't realize they were with us. We'll just have to help them so they don't die. <laughs> A battle for vengeance. He sure has his way with words. People always want some sort of an excuse. What those children desire is mere destruction. That is not true. Well, kind of is, based off their friend dying, which I get, so. Fuck them. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I'm very sorry, Lord Isnario. I hate this fucking girl so much. This failure is, un un is unacceptable for a member of the Seven Stars. I'm not the one who should be you should be apologizing to. You must be apologizing to your great father. Carta, your actions have tainted the, the issue family's name, and her eyebrows also have. However, as I am your guardian in place of your ailing father, I cannot simply sit back and watch. I shall give you a chance to redeem yourself. I am grateful, my lord. We hear that Mac and I is headed for Edmonton with some group called Tekadin. We, as Jollerhorn, must stop this at all costs. Please allow me the honor, Lord Isnario. I will, I will destroy Tekadin and crush Mac and I's plans. To be honest, Carta, I felt it was too heavy a burden right after your defeat. But McGillis insisted that I had it had to be you. And also, remember, McGillis is Montag, who's supporting Tekadin. And he also mentioned previously that Galio and Carta will be the reason the Jollerhorn gets reformed. And I said they might not be that for the, it might not be like a positive reason. <laughs> like I think that McGillis knows Carta can't beat Tekadin. It's been a while, Carta. McGillis. Who would have thought you'd be the one to pity me? Thank you. I'm not pitying you. Stop pretending. You just want to laugh at my failure. That patronizing smirk of yours never changes. You haven't changed either since the day we first met. If they do the flashback, we're probably going to skip it. The proud and beautiful only daughter of the Seven Stars' most powerful family. How dare you? Carta, you were always someone I looked up to, but I could never be like you. McGillis? Even though I was adopted, you treated me equally, and it wasn't out of pity or sympathy, which I don't think he mentioned before now that he's actually not a, like in the whole actual circle of Jollerhorn like through birth. Humiliation does not suit you. So, let me help you in ways that I can, Carta. McGillis. Carta also is like in love with him. And he does not share that sentiment, as you can tell. Okay, here we go. Getting close. So this must be a scenario we have to do. And then we do the actual the uh, season finale battle. This is also the first time they saw snow. 
I've never seen snow before. Orga. Yeah. Biscuit's death has driven you all mad. So? The Tekken members are all nice kids, but at this rate, they won't be able to, they won't be able to return. Return? To where? I don't know. But at least don't drag the younger children into this. Miss Maribet. What's the matter? Stay out of this. She really wouldn't get it, but... What? <laughs> we're not greeting- we're not getting dragged into anything. We're acting on our own free will. I understand, but... There should be a lot more choices for you. You're only blinded by... If we go on without taking our revenge, we'll suffer forever. Here we go. Is there a conversation happening behind me? It might have been the TV in the other room. Yeah, probably. Listen, retreat is not an option for us. Yes, ma'am. Oddly, this predicament makes me feel stronger. I'll never forget my pride. Isn't that right, McGillis? Victory will be ours. That's not McGillis for the record. All right, I'm not reading these random soldiers. I don't care about them. I actually don't care about her either. Orga, there are mobile, there are mobile suits. Damn, how'd they find us? Man, I was having a good dream too. How could you be dreaming at a time like this? What's going on here? Was this not the safest route to take so we could sneak past Jollerhorn's surveillance system? How could they find out so quickly? Oh, uh, well, Montag is McGillis. McGillis and Jollerhorn, same thing. Yes, yes, Mon Montag company. Did that man betray us? Do you have someone in mind? We'll talk later. Mika, be ready to go out with Barbados at any moment. Okay. Uh, I wonder if they... Hey, isn't this a duel? If we are victorious, you agreed to hand over Makanai, Togunosuke, and Kudelia Aina Bernstein. We're still on this after forever. <laughs> oh, she read it, but I read it too. You're welcome. I don't know why they're voicing her and not us. She's doing a lot of talking. I like it. Let's show him, huh? Uh, let's show him, huh, Akihiro? Yeah! Don't get too excited. This dual thing is pointless. Yeah, we outnumber them, see? Let's just beat the crap out of them. She's right. 30 minutes. We will wait 30 minutes for you to prepare. And when you're ready... What? Oh, I can't hope there's a cutscene for this. How dare you? You must listen to what Lady Carta... Oh, there's no cutscene. I've heard enough. What? So yeah, Mika said fuck the duel. Mika, you... Unbelievable! Lady Carta, let us regroup! <laughs> oh man, that's brutal. He's crushing them with that with the weapon in his hand, for the record. Mikazuki, that leaves us with nothing. How despicable. How dare you do that to my honorable elite guards? Anyone who gets in our way is the enemy. No, this isn't right. Shut up. I, you know what? Just go on. Go. 
I'm, I don't care. You're wrong. We have to see this. Oh, she's trying to stop the kids from seeing what's happening. Yeah, we have to see our enemy. And watch Mikazuki fight. What are you saying? I think that's pretty straightforward. That's right. We're going to watch Mikazuki. Because this is revenge for Biscuit and for everyone else. You've all gone mad. Ah, fine with me. Getting stopped in the snow like this is taking a toll on these old bones. It's best to get this over with and move along. All right, we wonder if we, oh, we actually do play this scenario. Cool. So we shouldn't have our units for this, I don't think. Yeah, can we continue to defeat Carter with morale of super high or higher? Oh, is it just him going? So our morale is, is balanced right now. So we just gotta go kill, we're, we're gonna kill the guards first. So we have the wrench mace and the auto cannon. I don't rem remember what this guy, is, what the auto cannon is. This is the Barbado six, no, it's still fifth form. Oh, so we have cannons now instead of uh, mortars. Oh, these are—they're pretty weak too. So one, one turn or one attack per per unit to kill them. This should be like, I think it's like a, you, I don't think you can lose this fight. I, I know, I guess you could. I guess you could in, th in theory. Oh, that's not a great idea for you. Let's see what the wrench mace, wrench mace animation is. It's good dodge. We're getting a little low on health already. <laughs> Dude, all the weapons that he uses are so brutal. Uh, let's we'll just evade. Alright, we'll get a double kill here and then kill that and fight that guy. We also almost sealed back to full, which is good. Um, we'll just just do it. What's the wrench maze? 18. The, the auto cannon's lower. We'll do auto cannon first, save energy. Alright, we're getting higher now. Let's go like this. We have plenty of energy, so it's not like a big deal. We've also almost unlocked the Barbados, which is cool. Oh, wait, does that reduce their attack damage? Oh, that's actually really cool. Hold on. Enemies attack minus 20% if attack is critical. That's actually really good. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you, you made the wrong decision there, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. Our morale should be getting pretty high. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, more, one more kill. And we should be in time to fight Carta. Oops. What? Oh. What, what am I? I'm not pressing the right button. There we go. This should push our morale up high enough to defeat Carta and do the secret condition. Ah. 
Oh, we we also unlocked the uh, bar the Barbada's fifth form, I guess. There we go. Still no red eyes. Okay. All right. Um. Actually, hold on. Let's just uh, let's just wait and let her attack. Oh, she doesn't attack on her own. Okay. Wait, does she have a, a gun? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Are you serious? She only has the night blade? Seems like a bad decision on her part. She can't even. Yeah. So next turn we'll just hit her with the with the mace and, and win. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not next turn. Yeah, fuck you. All that honor is gonna get you killed. Oh, she missed too. Oh, didn't even get a hit in. Cause she's dead next turn. I don't think Mika will crit AK. Nah. All right. Let's unlock that secret condition. Oh no, I hit off. I wonder what the secret condition is. I I cannot help me, Mick Gillis. He's not here. An Ahab wave. Carta. Oh, we have to fight him now. Reinforcements. I won't let you get away. Wait, Mika, that's enough. Orga? There's no need to chase them. Let's move on while we can. We have nowhere to return to, but we do have a destination. We'll get there together. Okay, Orga. I, I guess we did the, cr the condition correctly, right? McGillis, you came to rescue me, McGillis. Yes, that's right. I was a disgrace, wasn't I? That's not true. You fought well, Carta. So don't worry about anything. We'll get we'll get you healed up and thank you. Yeah, she's dead, dude. Carta, you get some rest. Leave it to us from here. I wonder why, um, I think I did the condition correctly and everything. He had super high, um, morale. 
Come on, hurry it up. We've got refueling, maintenance, and a whole lot more to get done. Yes, ma'am. Reloading and refueling is top priority. Start with the legs for repairs. Yes, sir. We've lost quite a lot. Yeah. They should be able to easily break their defensive line. But we can keep fighting now because they're holding at the rear, right? I, who are they talking about? Just bringing an Ahab reactor to this in the city will ruin its function. It would be pointless if Mac and I lost the public's favor because of that. How are we doing for time? I'm afraid we don't have much. Even after getting into the city, there's still a distance to Parliament. The Brown Prime Ministerial election will begin in the afternoon. There's only a few hours to the deadline. Perhaps it is too much to ask. Please do not speak any ill words about them here. They're fighting for us with everything they've got. Your heartless words are like stabbing them in the back. Don't get me wrong, I believe in them. I also believe they can make it to their destination. What I'm worried about is the amount of bloodshed until then. Oh, I guess like Mika and everybody's out defending the rear right now. I'd like to know where this destination of his is, especially after going through hell like this. Dude's just trying to make a nice home for his family. Yeah, this is what they're talking about. We have a new Graze variant, too, it looks like. They ran away again? Damn it! They've learned that we've got the upper hand in melee combat. They're good. Don't praise them. We're doing well, too. We've been at this for three days now. I forgot how long this was. I can finally eat. What? Are you serious? I definitely don't feel like eating right now. What is what is with you, Mikazuki? Can you hear me, Mika? Orga? We'll now go out for our final attack. Okay, got it. It's going to be, be a risky bet. There's going to be a lot of casualties from this, no matter what we do. I have to be. I have to force that upon them. I've already placed my bet on you. Ever since that day, it's not just me. All of us. We've all placed our bets on you. So you bet on us, on everyone in Tekaden. On everyone in Tekaden. So I wonder how they lay this fight out, because there's a bunch of fight. There's like there's a battle in the city, I'm pretty sure, and there's also one like you know the surrounding area that we just saw right there. Calm down, will you? You told me to leave this up to you. I know the plans of Mac and I's faction then it all depends on whether he makes it to the election or not don't worry no matter how hard they try it'll all be in vain you say so dude if you guys forgot that's mcgillis's dad everyone listen up we don't have time whether it works or not this is going to be our last operation maribet yes I want you to take all the wounded and get out of here. What? That's... The mobile suit team is going to act as a decoy to distract Jollerhorn. The rest, the rest of us will head straight for the parliament building and our mobile workers. That's... No. To be honest, it's, it's a reckless plan, but it's the only way I can think of accomplishing our goal. If you don't agree with this, you can leave with the wounded. But if you're going to join me in this, be prepared to put your lives on the line. You're insane! Be decoys? Put your lives on the line. Do you want these boys to die that badly? We survive by risking our lives for money. It's the only way of life we know. Ever since we started this job. No, ever since we were born. Because remember, they're all orphans. But know this. Our lives aren't disposable things that even that end when we die. So long as Tekken exists, some of us have already died before getting here, but their deaths were not in vain. I'll bet their lives on this battle too. The more lives we bet, the bigger our reward. We will, we'll, we will use each and every one of our lives in exchange for a better future. That's just... He's right. What? Yeah, I always had the feeling that I'd tie pretty soon. But even if that happens to any of us, it'll only make Tekken's future brighter. Even if one of us dies, the survivors can smile that much more. That's right. It doesn't matter who lives or who dies. We are one. We are family. Bet your lives on this for the future of Tekken. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. 
This is our last battle. Load as much ammo as you can. Well, their last battle of season one. <laughs> a family is, this is wrong, Biscuit and Fumitan. This is wasn't, isn't what they wanted. This is absolutely wrong. Yeah, it's wrong, all right. If it's wrong, then why? I, I had nothing more to say. I mean, I, she doesn't get it, like, from their perspective, because, you know, half of them were considered human debris, the other half were just orphan slave workers, essentially. So this is the best bet they got. The alarm! We must be under attack! You don't say! <laughs> Alright, let's do this! Let's make this last battle a good one. Take out as many as you can while they're still in panic. In a panic. Got it! I'm going to end it all here. This is our squad? Maybe? Not yet. More more dialogue. I bet it makes us split our team up too. Alright, let's move out. I hope we can make it to the parliament building. I'll drive. <laughs> Atra, why? We're shorthanded. Yes, but... Not to worry, I got Orga's permission. I'll be protecting you in Mikazuki's place. B but... Let's just say this is my own little revolution. Okay then, I'm counting on you. Those tanks are a lot bigger than ours. And there's a fuck ton of them, holy shit. They keep spawning. Those fools, we'll push them back easily. Concentrate your fire and take them out one by one. Yes, sir. No, our guys! Come on, let's go, I'm going now. You guys. Enemy mobile workers approaching. Don't let a single one get through. Keep firing at them. Yes, sir. I didn't realize. So they lose everybody but the, char the main characters. Damn it. I swear I'm not going to let you guys die in vain. Please, no more deaths. Here we go. I shall hope for the best. <laughs> here, come the, here come the reinforcements. All right, prepare yourselves, guys. We're not going to let their deaths go to waste. I think is Mika. I think it's probably, it's probably Mika. If I had to assume. No, no, wait, no. I don't think it is. What the? Hey, Orga. Looks like you, you could use a hero. Eugene, is that you? We're here. I forget where these guys were. These guys are with us too. I don't want to lose my place again. Oh, it's the uh, human debris. The kids who are friends with Akihiro's brother. You guys. We'll take care of the enemy from here. You go ahead, Orga. Thanks, Eugene. All right, we're heading towards the parliament building. This is our objective. We're out of time. We have to bring Mac and I here in eight turns. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Ah, the reward for this looks like what it'll cost me. We're going to charge through. Let's go. I wonder if we can put a, a squad over here with these guys. If not, this is going to be like the hardest part is getting these guys through. Okay, we can. So where's our other squad go? Oh. They're both here. Okay. Wait, could I have more units than this? Oh, I could. I could have one more guy. Wait, can I can I edit this? Let's add a unit to our our team.
All right, who can we throw in here? Oh, we unlocked, I forgot we unlocked Eugene. Is he a good, he's not a good pilot though, right? He's not horrible, actually. He's a good navigator. We'll have to put him on that for navigator. I think he might be better than Fumiton too. But who do we have out of our other groups that's like any good? Do we actually not have anything upgraded? I really thought we had more than this. What the hell was he in? Was he he was in Phoenix Zero, I think. Hold on one second. He was in group group I think it's group four he was in. Okay, yeah, so Ooh, what do we got here? We have a Phoenix Gundam. We have an M1 Astray. Put that on standby. And then, um. You take the Phoenix Gundam. Wait, no. Where's the. Where's the. There it is. Okay, that way we have a full squad for this mission. I feel better about that now. Um, they're good. They're good. All right. Um, so we have these guys here. Are we not in control of the battle? Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Are we supposed to deploy units over here, too? I don't... I think there's any spots to put units over here, so I think it's just these guys. From what I can tell. Alright, so we have two battlefields to manage, which is something. Alright, let's fucking go. So, we have eight turns, but if we make it in seven, we do the secret condition. We switch maps by Q and E. The election will start in eight turns. We need to make haste. I'm trying. Oh, the... I mean, how strong could these mobile workers be? I'm assuming they're gonna be grazes that show up also. Um, all right, our units should be like semi-busted at this point. I don't think we can one-shot a mobile worker, though. You never know, though. Oh, damn near can one-shot it. Oh, so close! Wait, they can't counter? Oh, fuck me. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. Oh, that's a regular Phoenix. There's our Phoenix full power back here. What is it? We didn't even look at that. What is, uh, what's he got going on? Burning fire. Okay. That sounds, sounds powerful. Wait, just, I want you to move. Thank you. All right, and then we have our warship. We're gonna flank these guys right here. Oh wait, we can use beams. I just remembered. I think mobile workers are weak to beams. Let's check. Yes. Finally. Manual 
I don't think it'll kill, but it's still cool. Oh, is he gonna dodge? No, I didn't dodge. Cool. All right, at least we don't have any weapon restrictions, though, for this little first part here. All right. Oh, we can't cross over this? Hold on. Then they should so I didn't realize that was a thing. Okay, you're you're flying, so you can do whatever the hell you want. Alright, this is the full power Phoenix. We haven't seen it yet. Check it out. Alright, I think it it might look slightly different. But it's like not a huge difference from the original. Maybe it just has more attacks. Maybe that's the big thing with it. Um, you know what? This is gonna sound stupid, but I wanna use a beam saber because we never can use one. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if... Oh, so the... That makes sense. The, uh... G generation units are flying already. They're in like atmosphere, in the atmosphere zone, not on the ground. We can actually make some use of the tornado Gundam in this map. For now, until he grazes the show, which I'm sure they're going to. 80 energy still. All right, let's just, um, let's hit him hard. Actually, why put yourself in range? Oops. There actually might be a way next turn to make our guys fly. I'll check, um, when our turn comes back around. Only 60% chance to hit, so hopefully it does. There we go. And then who's left on the ship? Gunnam oh, we have Crank in this new unit we got. This is Stray Frame. Uh, we'll put him right here. It'd be cool if they gave us throwaway units, but they never do. <laughs> I feel safer moving him up. Oh. All right. Can uh, can anyone get a shot in without dying? You have to go there, don't you? Yeah. Well, all right. Where can where can uh, Asher move to? Right here. All right. We're just gonna like make a little defensive perimeter around her. They have the, uh, they can link up. That's cool. They're like a raid group. Alright, I think it's everybody on this side of the map. Alright, now we go to Mika and the crew. Squad over here. Oh, they're a little, little sturdier. What, what version? These are grazed ground types. 
Oh wait, they're not. They're all individual units. They're not like linked up, I guess. We have to be careful with Chino. He's in the most vulnerable unit out of everybody. Everybody else should be relatively fine, I think. Wait, who hasn't moved? All you guys moved. Oh, Chad. All right, let's see how bad it is. Actually, yeah, let's just see how bad it is. Good, yes, focus, focus these guys. Thank you. Less energy. Dude, it's like a different game where you can use beam weapons. People are at their finest when they're fearful. Goat got that little bit of dictator vibe going on with him. Alright, how much... Yeah, yeah, focus him. Thank you. We're gonna skip that one. I think it's a kill, though. Indeed it is. We get a burning attack once his uh, morale gets high enough, too, which is exciting. Alright, so if we counter... 55% chance the hit's pretty good. We also can, we can probably kill this guy, actually. Wall team up. Come on, give me a miss, give me a miss. Hey, there we go. They, in theory, should be way better pilots than the Jollerhorn forces because they have the Alia Alia Vinjana system on them, which they're using with their mobile workers. They're new, they're new mobile workers. They're the more advanced version. All right, this is a kill though, because I, I don't think Derma went yet. Yep. We might as well use all of our support units. All right, let's just uh, confirm, and we don't gotta watch that whole cutscene again. Oh, we got hit though, which is about a third of our, a little, almost half our health actually, not a third. But we kill, I think. I couldn't figure out what font the lab document was. What are you talking about, RP? Oh, for, for your COVID lab results? Why, why were you trying to figure out the font for that, you weirdo? Just evade. I don't want I don't want him to die, so just, just don't get hit. Alright, that is like the worst decision you've ever made in your life. We have plenty of energy. Let's just one-shot this dude. It's probably Times New Roman or Ariel, if I had to guess. Being that those are the two like most common fonts. Oh, was it neither of them? I love how edgy our dude is for no reason. Dude, there's probably something where you could, if you could somehow copy and paste the font that you're looking at into like a, a font search, that has to be a thing that you can do that with. If you got your results online, I don't know how they give them. Uh, the slash doesn't match up. One shot, right? Yes. I do love my grunt mobile suits, but this Lord of Stray is kind of badass. I, I'm a sucker for a giant sword. I don't want to burn all of our energy because we're going to have a lot of things to kill coming up. 
Because I'm assuming all this shit's going to move out. That is not an ideal decision, my friend. Did the Google not work, RP? It didn't give you any answers to what Fauna was? That's kind of weird. If it didn't. Because there has to be a tool to figure that out. They said it was a custom text. Oh, maybe they, uh, they use, just didn't read it right. Yeah, probably. That's probably the default answer if they don't know. Oh, we're sixth form now. All right, they're all gonna focus Mika apparently. There we go. The gray still has the same counter, but they have a sword now instead of an axe, which is kind of cool. It's probably not common, so you can't forge it. That That's actually a good point. They may have to use a... Uh, a custom font for that very reason. I never, I didn't even, that didn't even cross my mind whenever you said you were trying to figure out what it is. Because people could like fake their test results and shit. You better dodge. Yeah. Where are you aiming? It's funny that Akihiro, the Gushin, or Rock, is more of like a uh, support unit with all long range weapons, minus the halberd. But uh, you, you, looking at Akihiro, you think he'd be like a melee player? It's like counterintuitive. I guess there is some badass moments whenever he goes into melee range, though. Yeah, you could do all kinds of weird like stuff with that to make it to make things, you know. Fucked up if you if you if you could copy that font. The election will start in seven turns. We need to make haste. Please, we have to make it. Alright, am I able to make you guys fly? Cause like you have an option, don't you? Yeah, you can land. Hmm. Wait, are we stuck in a fucking ravine? Oh my god. Did not realize that. All right, so we can't we can't sort you till next turn, I guess. Then. See that there that there's an appropriate time to use the rage emote. That is so stupid. It doesn't make any sense. I actually don't remember the Tornado Gundam's beam rifle animation. Let's do it. Oh yeah, because it has like a Mark II rifle. You're almost that energy. Mega Beam Cannon! Oh, it's Special Beam Cannon, that's what I was thinking of. From, uh, Dragon Ball Z. I, I believe you're dead. 
correct? Thank you. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Oh shit, he's gonna get a third attack then. We're gonna, we're gonna run out of energy though, I think. Yeah. Clear the path though. And now we can use that burning attack. Oh, right. Oh, it has good mirror. Gung mirror, however you say that. Combat knife. Alright, Gundam Kamaris, you're up. You're on our side now, though. And she dodged. Good. Okay. You're, like, nowhere near the battle. Alright. Wow, it dodged. Okay. Fuck you then, buddy. I don't think we can get in range no matter where we go. No. We can finish these off with our units over here, though. Okay. Um, you're hurt a little bit. Let's have you go over here. Can you can you can you actually hit from right here? Yes. Surely you can do 2k, 2.5k damage, right? It fucking dodged. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Where can you go to? Right here? That's fine. I'm gonna send my, my dude up here to start tanking these guys. Because we're bad. We can actually raid attack up there too. Now that I know that's a thing. And how it works. Uh, I think Orga might get a hit here. Wait, we can't. Oh, right here. Nope, too far away. Alright. We have Eugene, Dante. We have not unlocked Dante yet. All right, let's kill them all. All the middle workers are going in. It's actually kind of cool. That was loud. Uh, do we miss one? I think we, we missed that middle guy there. Alright. Alright, alright. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Eugene with that crit just saved uh, Derma's life. I think he was going out next turn. Um, you're actually going to just chill right here and heal him. And then you, then Chad can move up. And let's bring over Aston. And Takaki. 
I think that is everybody now on this side. Mika is doing relatively okay. Ooh, our movement. Not working. Actually, hold on. I think we might want to get Mika's. Yeah. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's see if the longsword animation changes. It does. Because we want to get Mika's morale up because we're going to need that uh, for something later, I, I feel like. Wait, he might get actually he can probably pull a kill off right here. Uh not not just not enough. Okay. So now let's do this. We'll get our boy in here. Get him a kill here. Then like a little halberd action right here. God, I love the Gundam Gushner box so much. It's such a badass unit. Okay, and now we're going to. Ooh, we never did snipe yet. Oh, that's cool. I was wondering, I was more or less curious how it worked. Um, is laughter hurt? Yeah. All right, let's do this. This way you'll heal anyways. Oh, the greatest custom still flying around, even on Earth. I was wondering if it was more of like a sedentary attack. Alright, you'll heal because you're beside Akihiro. Alright, Az. Give me a heavy club on this guy. That is a kill. I don't think we'll get in range. Oh, we do. Okay. We still have plenty of health left. We also have a we, we have a raid attack. We're still saving. Also, we'll just do that. And then I think that's everybody. Yes. I think Mika's getting close to running out of energy. We won't counter all these guys, probably. Let's just evade him. Yeah. Should be a kill. Yep.
five turns of six turns. Oh, all right, what's happening? More grazes. Where did they come from? He's back. We'll draw them out for as long as we can. Come on, show me what you've got. I'll show him what the Ryusu, Ryusu Go can do. I can't give up just yet. There he is. Hold it, you all go and support the mobile worker unit. But Special's Major Bodwin, surely one Kamaris is not enough. It's not going to be a problem, go. Y y yes, sir. Uh, they're gonna show up. Uh, yeah. Oh, they're all, okay. Oh. So this is our chance to thin the herd before the... Yeah. This is fine. Carta, leave this to me. I'll avenge you. And we'll grasp the future of Jollerhorn. Come at me, Horned One. I'll be the one to defeat you. Uh... It's the guy from before. I'm not letting you get away. Wait, Mikazuki. Hey, I'm not letting them go. Akihira, you can't go alone. What is that thing? Oh fuck, I forgot they fight it first. Oh, we get a cutscene. This is bad for the record. It's not good, it's not good. I don't know why it's so quiet. Oh. There's the, the Gundam trip where if the machine's not in the database, that's usually not a good sign. This is one of those situations. If you guys are curious, a Z does not die right there. What? A Z? What is this thing? I can't read its moves. It's so creepy. It's stronger than Mikazuki. Look out, laughter. Oh god. Ugh! What the? Alright, Shino. Time to pull back, buddy. You son of a... Damn, that thing is fast. I did it, First Lieutenant Crank. I got your machine back. Oh, he. I hope you're watching, First Lieutenant Crank. He's actually funny. Funny enough, he's on the other team. I will fulfill your will. I will get my revenge and carry out your orders. Um, can we still switch battlefields? No, we only have this one now. Okay, can I, like... Thank God. I was like, if I can't fucking send my units out, I'm gonna freak out. All right. Actually, uh, it probably wouldn't be a horrible idea to get your energy back. And same with you, because we're about to go in, I feel like. I'm also going to keep everyone to... Oh, wait a second. We got a big attack coming up, I think. Let's see where I can... Oh, wait. We can probably get a bunch of them. All right. Let's see if we can take out at one time. Being that beam weapons are on the table again. Yeah, 
This actually might be a quadruple kill here. Kill here. Wow, sorry, those words. I think it might be. It might be enough. Um, I didn't butcher the special beam cannon name. It was a mega beam cannon, and I said that's actually what I meant to say was special beam cannon, like from Dragon Ball Z. I didn't butcher it. Oh, there's the there's a backup. I was wondering where the where the fire was. That is loud. Oh wow. All right, so they're all dead. I would never disrespect Piccolo like that. I never watched the end, like the, the victory screen. Garlic gun. All right, what do we pick up? Reflexes level one, put it in the, put it in the bank. You made ramen noodles and grilled cheese? Are you in college? I kind of want to don't use my... Oh, let's see. We may be able to one-shot with this. Probably not, actually. Okay, so the Lord of Stray looks way cooler on Earth. Because, like, his animations make sense. More so than in space. Yeah, that's not enough. I don't understand that joke. <laughs> no, but I'm still poor. I don't understand that joke, RP. Care to explain it, bud? All right, so we're going to take him this way, so. Earth should be pronounced e Arth. What well, that doesn't even make sense. That's how if you if you sound that out, it says e Arth. e Arth. That's not easy. Earth. No, no, oh my god. This must be some joke that you're aware of that I'm not. Wait, or, okay, we can't, I was gonna say, why can't we attack something? So what, what what joke is this though? Like, is it from something? I, I'm just I'm genuinely cur curious now because it doesn't make any goddamn sense at all. Why would they go that way? Oh, it's from DBZ abridged. Okay, see, that's all you had to say. I know. What is it? Five turns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to use this goddamn unit. It looks badass, but he won't get in range of anything. All right, Crank, what do you got for me? Beam rifle. Let's see what this uh, gun demonstrate out... Gundam is straight out frame D. It looks pretty cool. It's a cool design. It's pretty hard. Oh, I skipped. Did it hurt me? It didn't hurt me.
Can this fly over top the buildings? I wonder. I mean, yeah, so when I was saying, I mean, that's kind of like, I would consider that probably a trash meal, quote unquote, but that's a delicious meal at the same time. And it takes like a total of what, like 10 minutes to do all of it? Maybe not even that. Depends on how fast you can heat your cheese up. I haven't had ramen noodles in a long time. You gotta keep ramen noodles in the pantry. I mean, you never know. You could uh, like end up in a pandemic or something and eat food, and it doesn't go bad. Oh, I wanna do beam sabers. Yeah, 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 smack him, smack him. We'll watch it. I like beam saber animations. Well, generally, I, I enjoy the, uh, the melee animations a lot more. Oh, he took a hit there. <clears throat> He'll be fine though. So we're gonna get this guy right here. Alright, squad, let's do it. I wonder why I only chose four at one time. Because there's five of us in, in, the, in the group, right? Six, really. This poor tank. My sword's larger than the tank. <laughs> oh, we, we have all the uh, backup fire, too. I wish the eye like blinked right there, like like the little like a little ding whenever it panned around to the face. All right, they're all dead. We're gonna have some grazes showing up somewhere here. I just don't know where they're gonna be at. What do we get now? Physical weapons efficiency. We'll just put that in the bank. Oh, you leveled up. Um. Whoa, that's a lot of points. Could you pound ramen noodles into a powder and use it as flour? I, yeah, I mean, I'm not a chef or even a very good cook, but yeah, probably. That's a nope, not a not a kill. Okay, so now we just have. Ooh, oh, they're getting close, actually.
Let's see if he gets a hit here. He does, good. wall here just in case all right I think that's everybody oh no nope. who didn't move oh we have we have units of sortie oh uh, we're gonna be just fine all right let's see what burning fire does let's hit this guy Oh, we got like a like a like a bird mode. Okay, that does a fuck ton of damage. <laughs> Thanks for the inspirational message, RP. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit, I did not expect that. What does it cost? It costs 26 energy to do. Burning fire. Wait, why can't I? Oh, it's a one. Never mind. I see how it works. All right. Well, we're going to kill another one right here. Because we're going to use burning fire again. What do, we, what do we pick up? Marksmanship level one. I think he already has that. All right, then we're gonna sortie old Relial. Uh, right here. Use this. You ate too much. What? Do you have one cup of ramen noodles and a grilled cheese? That's too much. I guess you get a lot of ramen noodles in those cups, though. Well, that is true. A lot of noodles and bread, a lot of carbs. Oh, you had two of each. Okay, well, I can see why you're why you're full. Then that's a lot of uh, a lot of food. Why would you go melee range with a a unit? Let's see how the Kamaris uh, melee action looks. I don't know if we've seen this before. That's cool. Now you need to recline and watch some Gundam that you don't understand. It's really not that confusing, RP. What's a slash disc? I, I, it's probably not the strongest thing to do, but I want to see what it is. Uh, if you were following the story, you would know what's happening. I know, I figured you haven't. I mean, the story is just your... Your vehicle to do the strategy part of the game. I get that. I did not realize this thing had this ability. I don't remember it ever using that in the anime. But, it, apparently it's a thing. Um... So in terms of the anime right now, RP, we are in the season finale of season one, is what this mission would be. As the title of the stream also says, I guess. So you probably put two and two together already. 
Oh, I forgot the full power heals itself too, because it's a it's borderline busted unit. I know, I know. We have a four turns. Yes, yes, yes. I think we're gonna make it. All right, I want to use the Gushin. It has trash mobility. Fine. Let's use what a, whatever a, a beam sign is. That sounds cool. Let's see what it is. It's just a beam saber. It's two of them. What? Oh. I did not see that coming. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. You watched the first episode and you get back. I need to, well, I also, um, in the same respect, need to continue Gur and Logan. I think I made it to episode... Holy shit. Episode six, I believe I made it to. All right, the Gushin kind of sucks in terms of, it's kind of a derpy looking unit in general. <laughs> I want to use the hammer though. I think it's really good. So Iron-Blooded Orphans has a large amount of haters in the Gundam community, but like most long-standing communities, they're all a bunch of pretentious type people. We're like, oh, you, you know what? I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm a Universal Century purist. You know that kind of bullshit. Because the UC is like the original Mobile Suit Gundam timeline. It's my favorite as well. But I also like the expanded. The it, I think it's Advanced Universe. It's called what we're in right now. But um, there's a lot of like people who get real elitist about it. Which it's a fucking TV show. Like, what is wrong with you? But they do. And so Iron Blood Orphans gets a, gets a lot of hate for that. But at the same time, um, this is like one of this show appealed to a lot of a lot of the U.S. audience because it has a lot of more contemporary anime tropes in it, which people like, you know. And and in my opinion, the more viewership that Gundam stuff gets, the better because it doesn't get a lot in general. And I want more of it to come over to the U.S. Like the fact that they're starting to release games like this is a, is a huge deal. Like in the game we play Gundam Breaker Three, like those are it's a big deal that those things are happening. Because uh, like growing up to find, to watch any kind of Gundam media, like it was like damn near impossible. Like I got the Gundam Wing collection that was on Toonami back in the day, and it was like three hundred dollars for like the complete series, which is way too much for a TV show. Uh, now you can buy it for like 45 bucks for for a season like on blu-ray, which is much more affordable obviously um, So it's getting better So I mean and the thing that I never understand well, you can also do that you could always do that I, I like to collect things though uh, the, the thing that never really made sense to me was that you know if you like this like the Universal Century timeline that's fine but you don't have to watch the new stuff if you don't want to. Like, you, you there's no, I, I just don't understand people's perspective sometimes, I guess is what I'm saying. It's the FBI. Delete Realm Noodles and Grilled Cheese, Realm Noodles and Grilled Cheese, delete, 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 delete. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the, so I'm a part of, like on Facebook, I'm a part of a Gundam page and a, and a Final Fantasy page. And holy fuck, it is the most, they're so fucking toxic, dude. Like the people on there, like it's the most gatekeeping, like bullshit ever. And I, I don't understand why. Like just fucking enjoy the shit and be happy. But no, people like lose the yeah. Fandoms are very toxic, which is the probably the answer to this whole rant I'm going on right now. But it's like it's like fucking ridiculous sometimes. It's like just chill the fuck out. It's not it's not that deep. Like on the Final Fantasy page I'm on, there's like a large a large amount of people that don't like the Final Fantasy VII remake. Which is fine. You're allowed to have that opinion, even though you're wrong. But 
Like, people, like, lose their shit over it, though. Like, they're telling people, like, not to play it and whatnot. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I mean, it's... I enjoyed it. I had a blast playing it. So I don't share that sentiment, obviously. But, like, in general, like, people just have so much hate on that kind of shit for no reason. They're like, oh, well, you know, it's not the original. Well, no shit. It's called a remake. That's why it's not the original. And it's the same with, like, the Gundam thing with Iron-Blooded Orphans. Like, if you want shit that happens in the Universal Century timeline, go watch that. Don't watch this, then. I just never understood that, like, gatekeeping-type community. Which, now that I think about it, about all the stuff that I like has a community like that. Because, like, Gundam does. Final Fantasy does. Dark Souls definitely does. <laughs> which, it's just ridiculous. I'm upset how they changed all communities to have that, yeah. Wait, you're- are you saying that you're upset they how they changed the story, or you're saying that all communities have that same kind of like, I'm upset they did this, they did that kind of thing? But are you upset with the direction they went with it? Oh, so you're on the it sounds like you're on the fence because I'm like a hundred percent behind what they're doing Because at the end of the day if you want to enjoy that original storyline guess what? Final Fantasy 7 the original game can be downloaded on every single console that's out You can get it on PC. You can get it on PlayStation. You can get it on Xbox. You can get it on switch So if you want that storyline, it's literally everywhere You can tour in it. You can do whatever you want um but I'm saying if you want that timeline or that storyline, it's it's available to you. You know what I mean? If you don't like the remake, don't play the remake. Or don't play uh, chapter two. It's a very simple so solution. Uh, no one's knocking on my door as far as I know, RP. So it sounds like you're getting raided. What's the T word? Oh, I said Torrance of the FBI is coming now. <laughs> Outed you, my bad. Delete. <laughs> Alright, I wonder where Ayn's gonna show up at. I didn't get to use Billy at all this, but we'll, we'll get his, we'll get attacked in with him. I want to see this Reginald's Julia ground type go. I can't wait for you guys to meet Julia. You won't meet her tonight, but she's another hateable character in this show. If not, maybe even more more hated than I'm even, maybe. Myth Moose, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I actually wasn't sure if that was a real follow or from the game this time. Uh, Alright, Azee can, Aze can actually get to this guy now. We don't need to use the ship for this. Just get a kill him. He's probably going to spawn on this side or something, and we're going to be in trouble because this team is nowhere near as strong as my raid group. Oh, did I hit move all? I didn't mean to do that. You're nearly done with seed? Yeah, so I have only played Iron Blood Orphan so far. I'm only halfway through it. I'm just... A beloved. All right, so it's not the same iron as the one from Cowboy Bebop. I respect that iron. I don't respect the iron from Iron Blood Orphans.
Alright, I think that's everybody. Oh, wait, who didn't? Oh, never mind. I guess we'll just, we'll fan our units out right here. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna leave me right there. I think they're fine. Oh, they're actually gonna get, okay. Never mind, they're coming this way now. Why wouldn't they go after the units right in front of them? Actually, no, that's fine. Maybe, uh, I, oh my god. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We could, can, can he, is it this turn? So we can reach this area this turn, but I feel like we should take out these mobile workers first, just so we don't have to worry about them uh, for whatever comes next. Thanks, RP. I figured you you would support my plan. All right. Well, we can use large shield or auto cannon. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Don't patronize me. I mean, that's cool. I want to see the melee attacks for it, though, which I guess we'll get next turn. Wait a second here. I think we'll get a, we'll kill all four here. What is that email you're using? Love brown L, love peak R, love blonde L. Those are cool. I've never seen those before. Streamer love. <laughs> My guy might be a little too edgy. Did you gift a sub and not realize it? I don't. No, I don't believe you did. Dude, funny story. Okay, so I was watching a stream before I went to bed last night on my phone, and I left it on. And I woke up, and I had gifted two subs to a random channel I never even saw of. Like I had no, I have no idea what channel I gifted two subs from. But on my card, there's a, a, a fee for twelve dollars for two gifted subs that I must have did in my sleep by accident last night. <laughs> I woke up. I'm like, what the fuck? I, it had like the information pulled up. Like I gifted a sub. I'm like, I didn't do that. But apparently, uh, in my sleepiness, I, I did. I, but I, I don't even know what channel I gifted it to, though. Thankfully, it was only one sub and not like a bunch. Let's use the combat knife and see what that looks like. I was just, I was asleep. I, I was not drunk last night. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Okay, just move you closer. And then we'll just take out the last two. Or do we do, do we use, maybe we'll let Mark take out the last two.
Because we're, we're already ahead of him level anyway. I'm going to probably replace him, though, at the same time. So I don't know why I... Uh... It doesn't. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Leveling this guy up, though, is a big deal, because we're going to turn him into something else. Um... Oh, we have a lot of points. Alright, there's our secret condition complete. Historic moment. We made it? Good work, we're almost there. Is the parla parliament building nearby? It's right there. And to think, I was getting a little scared. All right, here we go. Surely, damn, they're not going to let us through without a fight, are they? Oh, we're not there yet, Never mind. Oh no, oh no. Mikazuki, can you hear me? Enemy mobile suits are heading toward the parliament building. The tur turbine girls and Shino are down. Akihiro is busy fighting, so he can't go anywhere. You have to protect Orga. Okay. Where are you looking? This is where you'll die. See that? That's that's Alia Vinjana's true form. Ayn's desire to become one with the mobile suit leaves us fake leaves fakes like you dead. You're in the way. No, uh, I have to make sure I'm not the one defeated. Or something of that nature, he said. I'm not letting you get away. Ooh, what's gonna happen? What just happened? What was that? Your opponent shall be me. You, you're the one that got in my way? Who are you? Who are you, si why, why are you siding with them? Why? It's simple, Galio. That voice, it can't be. We need them to help us bring the ideals we seek to fruition. McGillis, why? I don't understand. Ideals? What ideals? Jarwin has long espoused the idea that bionic modification is evil, yet they created something which contradicts that principle. Ayn is living proof of the disorder that plagues the organization. What? Too many. He will, he will seem to be a cursed embodiment of fear. It's Tekken who fights that detestable monster and protects the Maiden of Revolution, who are now becoming known as heroes. And they pilot the legendary Gundam frames. What are you saying? Galio, if Mac and I wins the election, then the collusion between Henry and my father is Nario will come to light. Our public stance of watching the world crumble from the outside will turn to dust, and the distortion within Jalorhorn will be exposed. What? He's not wrong about any of the stuff he's saying, for the record. It's certainly a sensational story fit for a sensational stage, is it not? McGillis used Ayn, his pride, as a way to entrap Jollerhorn. So, what are you going to do about it? How could you? You may be a friend, but I won't forgive such villainy. This is a little dramatic. Oh, is there a cutscene for this fight? No. Alright, where's he at? Come on, he's going to spawn somewhere, isn't he? Oh no. We're almost out of time. I know, don't worry, we'll make it. Then this will be all over. What's going on? We've lost all communications except for LCS. Raider isn't working either. What? That means... Big boys here. Mobile suits? Are they serious? They're actually deploying mobile suits in the middle of the city? That's right. I remember now. Forgive me, First Lieutenant Crank. I was supposed to obey your orders. I was supposed to capture Kudelia Ina Bernstein. Kudelia? Kudelia Ina Bernstein, where are you? Kudelia Ina Bern. I think he's on like the, his speaker on the unit right now. What the heck is going on? What's he talking about? I am Kudelia Ina Bernstein. Oh. What are you doing, Kudelia? Is there something you want with me? There you are. You know, I went all the way to CGS to get you. That idiot. Why did you run away from us? If you hadn't done that, First Lieutenant Crank wouldn't have died. Besides, this is all because of your independent independence movement. Ah, uh, that's right. First Lieutenant Crank died because of you. 
My actions have caused a lot of people to die. That's why I cannot stop now. I'll put an end to that ego of yours. Oh, I can't wait for him to die. You're the one with an ego. Mikazuki? Mika? Mikazuki. Everybody loves Mika. That's right. You won't let us die in a place like this. It's you again. You're the sinful kid that killed First Lieutenant Crank. Who's that? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Mika, we're heading to Parliament now. You take care of that thing. Yeah, I got it. There's no end to your sins. They keep growing. Ah, at this rate, first Lieutenant Crank, your tears, your tears will not stop flowing. With this fight, I will make this boy repent for what he has done. Is that right? Let's go, Barbados. Oh, no. We get additional enemies. Which are a new enemy type, actually. Oh, sorry. What do we got here? Gyrel Sharfrichters, that's a name. Pick? Pickle. They have a pickle. Why is it called a pickle and just not a pick? No, no. I understand Barbados is how you would normally say it. But the way Mika says it is Barbatos. So we're going to call it Barbatos. I'm not wrong. Barbados is an island. <laughs> Barbatos is a Gundam. Everybody has already moved except for me. I guess I'll be the one to fight these things. Or I could do this. Has everybody moved? Wait, E. Oh, that was loud, sorry. Uh, we actually get to do this fight here. That's cool. According to an article I read, it's a long A. Why don't you go ahead and link that article, RP? It says we have one in act. Oh, wait. Who didn't move? Oh, Mika didn't move, of all the people. What's this dude? I wonder if he'll come at us or if we'll just chill. They didn't spell it phonetically, but I read it as a long A, so therefore it's a long A. Uh, you get final say. We're gonna get Mika real pumped up before he fights Ayn. They're all gonna go to this side. Probably be okay. We'll uh, get up in there and do a raid attack and just take a bunch of dudes out at one time. No red eyes yet. Just, I wanna, he's, oh, I didn't mean to do that. He's running low on energy though. I hope the purple dudes go straight forward though, not down. I, the Grim Grid's a pretty cool looking unit. You don't really get to see it too much in the anime, so we'll unlock it and try to play with it a little bit. I also don't believe it is a Gundam frame, but I could be wrong on that. Here we go. That version of the, the Gun and Kamara's Trooper is a pretty badass looking unit. Oh, 
That looks like a Zaki machine gun, which is kind of funny. Are you serious, McGillis? You missed? Trash. Thank you for moving directly at us. That make my life a little bit easier. That is not the right move, friend. All right, we're gonna fuck this dude up. I don't remember those units. They might be from season two of IBA though. Let's pull the trigger for a better tomorrow. Kind of damage. Oh my god, we almost killed him in one shot. Woo! We don't gotta watch the whip, the whip attack. We've already done it a bunch. Uh, we must be uh, hyped up. Because we're doing extra damage. So strong with that double heal. Okay. They're probably gonna be fine. All right, let's try out our large blade. All right, Billy Blaze, you're up. I rather enjoy that attack. All right, large shield. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds cool. Wonder what he does with the shields. Oh, it's like a, a grapple, but it's just a stab. Okay. Not as cool as the sword, but not bad. Uh, what you grab? You got analyst. Uh, well, no, we need to give him some skills though, because we're gonna keep. I like Billy. We're gonna keep him with us. Um, this unit has really good stats overall. I like how there's blood spray whenever it does that. It could be oil, I guess, too, but it's like right through the cockpit of the unit. Oh, that was cool. A little combo he did there. It didn't really hurt very much, but our units are a little too strong in general right now. I think actually... No, we can't. All right. What's going on over here? Squad's about to get go in. Dude, you need to move. God damn. So fat. Can't catch up with the rest of the group. Wait, we're, we're gonna go to right here if we move Frank over. All right, so nano and armor is a thing. So we have to use the grenade launcher. We've not seen this yet either. Oh, just a grenade launcher on the beam rifle. Good damage. Really good damage, actually. Did he get hit there? We did. Alright, we're fine, though. Alright. Wait, we only get one? Aw.
I think we get hit but either way here. Oh no, we don't. That works. I have locked in the target. Then we get explosion damage. A little bit. Okay. Um, you go next. Oh, I wonder if... Oh, it does work on him. I like how the music changes for the burning fire attack, too. Yeah, so it must go into like a bird mode. Phoenix mode, I guess it would be. Oh, you can see it right there, yeah. So much damage. What'd you pick up? Mechanic. No, that's for someone on the ship. It leveled up again. Uh, let's, we'll go there, there, and there, and there. Mobility probably wouldn't be a bad idea either, but... Oh well. Um... I don't really care if he kills or not. He might actually with a crit. Yeah. No! It has like one health left. That's okay though. We'll, uh, we'll let Z get the kills. Oh, actually, I don't know if she'll get the kill here. Hold on. Maybe we go go this go, go this route first. Maybe she'll, maybe, uh, we'll see where her, maybe she'll have enough morale for a crit. Nope, not quite yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't think unless we can get support. Yeah, we aren't gonna. I don't think we'll kill this turn. No, not quite. She got hit, but it's fine. I think... How, I wonder how far he can move. Oh, I don't think we're in range for the... Actually, how much health do you have? I will kill. Even with the nano laminate armor, we should do enough damage, I think. Yep. Feather funnels. Oh, he actually uh, survived that pretty well. Let's just uh, chill there. And then everybody, we moved everybody over here, so I think we're fine. Except for, for Mika, obviously. We want to save this, so let's pull him back here. That way we can move him with everybody else. Let my dude take the brunt of the attack. That way we'll draw them all in. I think that's everybody minus McGillis. Hopefully, does he have any... Shit, he doesn't. Oh, he, he's full health. Never mind. You know what? I didn't think this would be a good idea, but fuck it. Let's see what we can do here. This thing's badass. The blades like drop out of the hands. It's pretty cool. They like flip around. Oh, 
そんな生ぬるい感情は私には残念ながら届かない怒りの中で生きていた私にはそう、ガリオ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウはそうだね。そうだね。I've heard Ayn's not exactly fun to play. Oh, he's moving too. We'll watch their fight pan out, being that we won't see the Grim Grid again. Well, maybe we will. If I unlock it. And then we're, we're going to see the Gundam Kamaru's trooper again, for sure.、Um, because that's what the Gundam Kamaru's upgrades into. The red paint scheme also is very Char esque. Who, and McGillis is this show's Char character, so. Damn it! I wanted you to attack the. The Gushin will get one attack in at least. The thick boy. Spin to win. I didn't, even know, I didn't know it'd spin to win. That was cool. I just want to see it one time. Now, what I just did there may not be the best idea because I feel like Ayn's close enough to us where he could move up and attack us. No, I think we're, we're probably still okay. What does Gray's Ayn have? Oh, wait, oh, wait, I wanna. Shoulder. Okay, he has an auto cannon, a large axe, drill kick, and a pile bunker. Okay. Wait, actually, hold on before I do that. Let's move this guy here, and then we can, I think we can hit everybody. I think that's how, how it will work. I didn't think he was gonna kill there. Alright. Just、uh, hit with the auto cannon. Alright, now. 
Oh, we're about to fuck everybody up. Too bad we won't we won't see the uh, the sword attack on Ein's unit, but I'm pretty sure it'll survive one attack. Then we'll send Mika up to fight him, just for like the uh, the cannon battle. Damage to Ein. Wait, that one survived. <laughs> There's clear in the way. Oh, I don't know. I, I must hit move all. Oh, no. It, 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 maybe because it's a follow up to a raid attack that it does that. Well, they attack intelligently, at least. Okay. Um, let's do this. We'll have Mika attack this, then he, he, I think he gets in range of Ein. I'm making sure I set up that, that final battle between them two. Clear out these mobile workers, and then uh, I'll move my character beside Ayn just in case. She's also supercharged. We have three supercharged units right now. All right, so let's uh, just post up beside me. Oh, right here. I forgot to make McGillis attack. He should be fine though. Wait, he's attacking me? That's kind of brutal. I don't think we'll kill here. Surely we can't do 9,000 damage with our weakest attack, right? All right, good. And this will end this little bout. I thought the Gundam Kamara's Troopers Lance animation would be a little more dramatic than it is. Especially compared to Galio's other units. Almiria is Galio's sister. It's an arranged marriage. 
I don't, they didn't really touch on that. They might touch on that more in season two of the game. They do in the show, I think, already at this point, but. want that for sure oh no McGillis Galio Galio there's no lie in what I told you to lead Jollerhorn in the right direction I needed you and Ein and you you were the only friend I've ever had the rest is up to you Tekadon Well, let's kill a, a giant robot. What's he got? 1,000 health left? All right, Mika. Let's keep it canon. the Iron Greys as a unit. He's a robot now, he's not human. I'm talks a lot. Come on. So the limiter shuts off if you're wondering what's happening. And um, that's why Mika's bleeding out of his eyes and his nose because he's the, set, the CPU for the unit and it's like overload on his body. I don't remember if Barbados gets red eyes yet. I don't think it does. But there's usually, there's a limiter on the systems so they don't hurt the pilot and I don't know if Mika shuts it off or if it does it on its own because it does the thing where it like becomes sentient occasionally. So this is not good for Mika's health. That's all I'll say. First Lieutenant Crank. Oh, he said this already. Shut up. I can't hear Orga. All right, what did we get from that fight? I'm actually surprised there wasn't a custom cutscene for that fight. What's well, all the commotion outside? What? There are mobile workers? Are there? Wait, what? I can't contact anyone. 
Is it true there are mobile suits on the rampage? Huh, my victory is in sight. It's so rowdy in here. No! It's like a zoo. Is this not a, the Supreme Assembly of Arbrow? It can't be. How are you here? How? I'm the former Prime Minister of this place. We were waiting for you, Mr. Mac and I. Sorry to worry you. It was quite chaotic out there, although it's not too different from here. Please give your general policy suites. It's just you now. Wait a moment. If I can give up my time, there's someone here who has a lot more to say than I do. Isn't that right, milady? Huh? Are you referring to me? Go invent everything you've got pent up inside. But... Cudelia, you can do it. I know you can. Okay. Please voice act this for me? から全代表である賄い人の交渉のために今この場にいます。ここに来るまでの間私は幾度となくギャラルホルンからの妨害を受けました。そして今まさに私の仲間たちがその妨害と戦っています。火星と地球の歪んだ関係を少しでも正そうと始めたこの旅で私は世界中に広がるより大きな歪みを知りましたそして歪みを正そうと訪れたこの地もまたその歪みに飲まれようとしているしかしここにいるあなた方は今まさに
Side note, if you look at one of Mika's eyes, is all messed up, the little shiny thing is gone. He goes blind in one eye because of the Barbados limiter going off. I believe he also loses feeling in one of his arms. Yeah, it's wrapped up. You can see it there. It's like fucked up. Like, he fucks himself up that fight. I mean, he wins, but <clears throat> still. All right. Two hours and 40 minutes later, that is the uh, conclusion of the season finale of season one of Iron Blood Orphans. Alright, we unlocked Gundam Barbados 5th form. We slept near. So we can get Mika now. We can get Mika with both eyes, actually. We can get Orga, we can get Acha, we can get Elijah Kill, Biscuit, and Kudelia. I don't know who this is. He might be from the other Iron Blooded Orphan series. I oh, know, it's the Chiba Total Kill Count on 300. Hmm. Um, let's get Orga. Early Divinity Sunday, like noon? Probably not that early. Mika. Cudelia would be good on the ship, actually. 12.30 is fine. We'll see. Oh. Um, let's see something real quick. Oh, one more level and we get the, we get the, uh, the drill guy for RP. We have to hold off till here. Let me see a drill. Well, you'll see the drill eventually. I don't know what to make this man into. I guess we could do, we already did a Phoenix Zero. Don't at me. We're going, we're going the Tyrion all region type Sergei from double O. Wonder what this turns into. Right here is a special unit for it. Cause this is like an end game. Like this is like fully upgraded I thought. Then there's Gundam Kamara's booster trooper, and we might be able to go straight to Gundam Vidar, which is from season two. And this is full city, I'm pretty sure, which is level seven, which we'll definitely get that to before we upgrade it. And then anybody else really got anything going on? Not really. Yeah, you're still level one. What I'm wondering... Hmm... So we didn't unlock Akihira yet because we didn't get... The Gushin Rebok all the way leveled up. Which we I'll do- I'll probably do it off stream actually. I'll probably go do that. Um... Wow, we have stuff here. Yeah, I'll probably do that off stream. Um, just because we're going to replay. I'll re replay a level. So let's go ahead and give her a save. So now the question is, I'm going to take a break from the Iron Blooded Orphans timeline. Um, and let's go take a look around. So this is the next mission. You can see we have the upgraded units here, which we'll come back to that because we still have, I think, five missions left in that series. That actually looks pretty badass. Oops. Who this guy is. So what I'm thinking that we're going to do. I kind of want to do... 
here. Let's see. What is the G unit has four missions? Endless Walls has two. Let's do dual story G unit because it's brand new. To me, I've never seen it at least. And and mobile MS called Geminos. This looks badass. I like this tall geese variant right here. That like has the knight armor on it. So this is a brand new story for me. Okay, コロニーの解放を唱える時代が大きな転換期を迎える中宇宙の片隅では新たな火蓋が切られようとしていた古民族次元衛星M05いつのコロニー機動集落群に属さない人口10万人程度の工業都市コロニーである この頃に出て秘密裏に行われていた新型モビルスーツの開発はすでに実戦と同等の模擬戦が行える段階に達していた。G Okay, so they're not on par with the Gundams from, from Wing Gundam then. They're like mass, maybe possibly mass produced versions. No, you didn't, RP. It was never made into an anime. It's um, a manga. You just said a random Japanese name. You've seen a review? I'm sure. All right, let's see if there's as much dialogue in these as uh, the other one. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I guess I will see. We'll see if you're telling the truth. <sighs> ah, where is he? That's Odin. I know he's got a lock on me somewhere, but I can't find him in all these shells. Let's try swapping sensor ranges. Turn up the motion sensitivity and... There, found him. Wait, it wasn't him? Ever the rookie, Odin, you fell for a dummy. Aw, oh, crap! You finally spotted me, but it's too little too late. Oh, is that our brother or something? Odell and Odin? Ooh. PX system. It's like Trans Am essentially. Izumi's in the mask and he's a dick. Alright. Oh, that's a kill. Okay, that's enough. Test battle complete. Odell, Odin, nice work out there. Huh. I was just getting started. Just getting started being dead, maybe. That's why you'd be that's what you'd be if this is a real battle. The, the Geminus O1 doesn't stand a chance against the O2 when it's with its onboard PX system. Then why don't you put it on the O1 too, huh? It's not even calibrated properly for me as it is. As the programmer, you're responsible for this, not me, Lucille. 
Oh, now this is my fault? It's the test pilot that needs calibrating, if you ask me. Excuse me, the G unit is nothing like a Leo. You can't expect me to just hop in and magically know how to handle it. You and your attitude. Ha, I think that's enough of that. It's the same old story with you two, huh? You'll never beat me if you can't learn to get along. Bah. Dr. Berg, the PX system is fine and working, fine, is in fine working order. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yes, indeed, just plenty. Then how about we call it a day and head on back? I'm gonna break this thing in a little more first. I plan on beating my brother next time. They are brothers. All right, just make sure you to pick a good time to turn turn around. I'm not coming to pick you up if you run out of energy and go adrift. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. All right, do we get attacked randomly now? Well, let's see what you can do. My G unit, Geminos 01. It's not enough. I have my own thing. I not, can't read apparently. I'm going to outdo my brother. Oh no. Huh? Is there another. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is that another dummy reading? <laughs> no, that's a mobile suit reading. That was a Leo. It's running. That means it's definitely not an MOV mobile suit. Who sent it? Either way, if anyone finds out about this G unit right now, it'll be in big trouble. I can't let them escape. No Leo's gonna outrun me. Oh, we're playing. Okay, that's a lot quicker than the, uh, well, I guess it makes sense. The story of Leo Ewok type. What do we have? We got a beam sword and accelerate rifle. Apparently we fire through an asteroid. Oh shit, that's like a buster rifle size beam. I actually didn't expect that. Oh no, we probably should have went around like I was originally going to do and not tried to hit it right off the bat. Uh, we'll, we'll get it next turn, I think. Oops. That rifle has pretty good range, so. Yep. Okay, time to tap out and tell me who you're with. Is it the Federation? Oz? Huh, <laughs> silly boy. What? This is where you're supposed to deliver a coup de grace if you don't want to die. What are you? Is he surrounded? Glory to prize. The fuck is prize? The wizard of Oz? Not that Oz. I never thought he'd blow himself up. Jeez. What was that about? What's prize? What's going on in these far reaches of space? Aw, oh, crud. I used up the energy I was saving for the trip home. Now I'm out. Oh, like he was told not to do. I'm guessing, um... So it seems like this takes place the same time as Wing Gundam, just like far away from the action, which is Earth. That's pretty cool. Our Leo scout was intercepted. Yes, but he forwarded part of his data before he died. Oh, he looks like Trey's. So the intel was right. Who's a character from, um... Yes, there's a Gundam, all right. Our quarry, huh? 
Trace is from Wing Gundam. Before I got cut off by whoever that blonde dude was. So they're not Gundams then? Because they said they're generic units? Mining Asteroid City MO5. These Oz guys are great. I say they're more the more the welcome. They're, I don't know what he said. And now my colony gets to be under their umbrella. If I may, sir, we can take all the goods we've been saving for the Alliance and hand them over to Oz instead. Just leave it all to me. I'll see to it that nobody at home suffers for this decision. Odell, Trisha, I'm getting the distinct impression you two aren't happy about this. I hope you'll forgive me for being blunt, sir. Hey, go nuts. I don't mind. <clears throat> I don't trust Oz. What's not to trust? Oz used to be a secret military organization, the key word there being military. Why would they turn around practically overnight and start calling for peace? Come now, boy, they've changed is all. You're just being paranoid. People change over time and nobody wants a war. I hope you're right, sir. I trust we'll maintain status quo with the G-Unit? Absolutely. Its development is to remain under top secret. We'll wait until the system's complete to present it to Oz. Our goal here is to get Oz to formally adopt it. What's that? How'd the Oz summit go? Odin, we're now officially part of Oz. I want you to work harder than ever. You can count on me, old man. Odin, how's your sim work coming along? Okay, I guess. 420, but what? <laughs> Oz will be way stronger once, the G once they have the G units. Agreed, and I'm sure Oz will value them quite highly. Yes, indeed. The G, the G units, we won't have to swap out mobile suit models to adapt to different tactics. Doctor? We just have to swap out the unit system parts and they can adapt to all manner of different situations. In fact, the blaster units for combat and space environments should be perfect, perfected soon. My G units will be the strongest mobile suits ever. Even stronger than the five mystery mobile suits that showed up on Earth? Ah, uh, I like the data to say much about them, but I presume they're custom made mobile suits for guerrilla warfare. Between the unit system and the PX system, our machines have a far greater degree of perfection. Ours would certainly win. The G unit's incredible. I'll pilot one and fight for a piece as a soldier of Oz. Odin. So... Okay. Oh, bad guys? These are bad guys? Oz Space Fortress Bulge. <laughs> Colonel, about MO5. MO5? Oh, that Roga fellow's colony? Wait, Lady Un... Uh, she's from, um... Yeah, she's in, she's in original Wing Gundam. Who needs Leo mass production facilities these days? We're in the era of mobile dolls now. You can handle them, Nicole. Yes, ma'am. Wait, era of mobile dolls? I wonder if this takes place in between, um... Wing Gundam and, um... Endless Waltz. It must. Oz Prime. Even we don't know much about them, just that they're an independent combat unit and no one's allowed to interfere with anything they do. That's prize. MO5 is written off the books now, for all intents and purposes. Because mobile dolls, I believe, show up. Maybe, wait, hold on. They might actually show up in Season 2 of, of Wing Gundam. I don't remember. <clears throat> so, that dude's heading to MO5. There's an inspector found out going on. No one else is to hear any of this, especially not Lady Un. Report directly to me. Yes, sir. I'll, just, I'll do just that. I'll have to look up and see when this takes place. A shuttle has departed Bulge. An inspection shuttle bound for MO5, I take it. That wretched Lady Un has ignored a direct order from the Foundation headquarters. MO5 is our quarry. Not even Lady Un is allowed to imagine upon that. Going for a long boy tonight? Oh shit, I didn't realize it was three hours. Maybe. Oh, they're deploying maybe? Excuse me, sir. 
Your soldiers could handle the attack on the shuttle, if you'd permit it. Ah, you mistake us, Alyssa. We're doing this for our own personal amusement. Be a deer and let us handle this, okay? As you command, sir. <clears throat> oh, whoops. This is more reminiscent of uh, the Oz I was thinking of. Those guys are. Sir, we're getting a distress signal. What? Where's it coming from? That's a number and it's inbound. I can't verify directly due to interference, but it says there's a shuttle under attack. A battle? We can hardly ignore that, can we? Odell, are you there? Right here, sir. I need you to go check up on that trouble outside, considering that mystery scout the other day. Be extra careful out there. Will do. Geminos O2's pixie system, pixie system is under maintenance. You, you won't be able to use it just yet. Got it. I'll make do. Watch yourself out there, Odell. Right. I'll be back. Promise. I wonder if they have a thing. <clears throat> oh, oh, we have units. We have units spawning. Oh, G unit is pre-wing TV show. Okay. Yeah, stop this. I have no desire to fight you. That's a thick boy. That's it. Run, run. Stop this. You're in MO5 territory. Cease fire immediately. If you ignore this warning, huh, there you are, fool. Stop. What's wrong? New mobile suit? I've got no choice but to fight back. I can't let the shuttle be destroyed. Huh, you should take my Leo N more seriously. Alright, so it's not that big of a fight. The G unit is pre-wing. Alright, did not know that. Oh god, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's why my walls are in the prototype stage at this point. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Beam sword, accelerator rifle. Oh, there are actually more of them than I thought. Good. All right. So, we'll do this real quick. Odell fights Broom. The event condition is just to fight Broom. <laughs> All right. So, I think with that, I'm going to wrap up for tonight. Um, we'll continue this. I think we might fit a bonus stream in. And I think it's going to be on Saturday morning, maybe, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow, it'll be tomorrow or Saturday. I don't, I'm not committing to either. It'll, it might be both. Could be one of them. We'll see. I'll uh, tweet about it and whatnot, but it's going to be one of those. And then on Sunday, we're going to continue our divinity, um, four player co-op playthrough. So if that interests you, it will start around seven 30 then. But if I, uh, if I do a bonus stream, I'll tweet about it and then you'll get the notification if you follow the channel when I go live. So. Thanks for watching tonight, guys. And if you haven't, don't forget to follow the channel. The Gundam Aquarius is an anti-mobile doll virus. I don't know what that means, but I'll find out, I'm assuming. <clears throat> but anyways, thanks for watching tonight, guys, and I will see you in the next one.